only getting level one there, which is a shame, but uh, still getting a personal best, and that has him in sixth place at this stage. So on the ice now, a young man who's competing at the Europeans for the first time. He's just the junior champion of Spain, only 15 years of age. So a really big moment for this guy. Skating to Dragon from the Bruce Lee story. This is Javier Fernandez. A lot of speed triple axle planned for starting. Oh, that's a shame. Didn't quite get the right leg through far enough to give him the elevation to make the three and a half turns. Good effort, though. I like this guy. He's attacking the program. Triple lutz, double toe loop was the planned combination. A turn in the middle. changes of positions on the uh, flying spin there for all to see good speed changes of edge as well and flowing well into the straight line step sequence rockers on both feet at the end of the footwork there that's getting the Level up, good changes of direction as well. Hey, I like this guy. One of the things that really impressed me there, Nicky, is the lack of preparation for the jumps. He just popped them off with yeah. after a little bit of footwork. There's yes. no big wind up into the elements. Didn't go according to plan. A few mistakes in there, but uh, great stuff. One of the best skaters I've seen come out of Spain for a very long time. It's his approach, isn't it? He comes on, a lot of speed over the ice, going for the triple axle. He didn't quite come off. But what would you, would you rather he's going for that this stage of his career rather than taking it easy, could have done the double axel, played it safe? I think at this stage, you know, if you can do it, go for it. Now, he's going to suffer. There's, there's coaches that will criticise me for saying that because uh, on the slow motion you just saw that he actually landed the triple axel forward. So he's going to get marked a minus three on a double axel. So he's going to get hammered for the mistake there. But he's 15 years of age, first European championships. Why not give it a shot? The change of edge on the spins. The spins are great. Good speed, well-centered. Fantastic. Great positions. I mean, that's difficult to keep the momentum going there into those positions. And I can tell you that it's made the program physically far more demanding now on the skaters to try and get all this difficult footwork in. That was really superb toe work through that straight line step sequence. And to, to get your head onto your knee and changing the edge and working through the spins, you used to be able to almost take a breather. You can't yeah, yeah. anymore. Yeah. And you... you, you I mean, chalk and cheese to, from the guy before, 
which seemed empty by comparison. This was dynamic, it was going, it worked for me, the choreography fitted, everything flowed. Just so much difference. Certainly was, really enjoyed it. See, he's got the weight a little bit too far over the front of the skate on that sit spin, but he's trying to get his head onto his knee. It's really, really difficult position. So, uh, yeah, he's a, a shining light from Spain. There's no doubt about that. It's You're exciting deep. to just see him skate and to see the, the, the energy, the, free, the, free, uh, the free movement over the ice and that. Yeah, and the energy, and it was working. He worked those step sequences. Gosh, didn't he just? He really did. Now, let's see uh, if the judges go with him. Technical element score, not too bad. He's got a deduction in there for the four of one point, but uh, he'll end up with a total of 41.73, and that by far and away the best that he's ever had. This, so a tremendous effort there from Javier. And, and both spins getting the level four because of the content. Dead right too. And that's a, a classic example of, of using those other elements, even though you've made...